you join me today at Oasis Outdoors here in Denmark, where I'm very lucky to be invited back to look at some new stuff for 2023. So what have we got? Well, we've got new Outwell 2023 tents and accessories, new Robins uh, tents and accessories, and new Easy Count tents and accessories. And there's absolutely loads here. Lots of great stuff for 2023. So let's have a closer look. Right, well, here we are in, um, this is the Outwell tent showroom at their headquarters here in Denmark. And very privileged to be invited over to have a look at some of the new tents, new accessories and features for 2023. And there's quite a lot uh, coming up this year. So as you can see behind me, um, any of those, any if you really like Outwell tents and, and looking for a new tent, then, uh, Stay tuned because we're going to have a much closer look at what's coming up this year. And here we are under the big event shelter that has got the connection through to the tent. So you've now got this huge space, huge interconnected space, which we wish it didn't always rain when camping, but it often does. But with something like this, you can see, you can come out of your tent all the way through into the shelter where you may be cooking, you may be eating. Um, you can also connect up with other tents. So if you're meeting up with families and the kids getting together, their, their cousins or, you know, friends, um, you can connect up a, a couple of tents and then share the kitchen details and uh, share the kitchen items as well. So you don't necessarily need to bring so much um, and you connect together. And this can then be a nice little hub. But that's a picture of it in the showroom. Let's have a picture. <laughs> well, let's have a picture. Let's see it outside and here we are outside so let's look at this now you've got the event shelter um, attached here event shelter creating a sort of nice sort of area here and then coming through here you've got the shelter all the way back into the tent and this is one of the new tents uh, for 2023 actually um, coming on all the way through here to the back and to the bedrooms. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it, it, it adds a lot more than just a porch onto the front of your tent. It's a porch and a shelter. So certainly for British camping with, with rain where it does happen, um, but even with the heat wave and the heats we've had, having a bit of a shelter like this um, to go all the way through, I think it's a really handy feature. Um, of course, you can get uh, 
you can get walls for different event shelters and, and petitions or you can just put up a windbreak of course like this to to make a nice little sheltered area here if you've got a prevailing wind um and then you could perhaps put some some chairs down to so here's another another look at it so as you can see it clips onto the event shelter so the one side here just simply clips on it comes through here and you've got these toggles so it just simply clips on like that very very simple easy to do and then on all recent outwell tents you'll have a sort of tent boarded extension connection point here to strap these things in so this thing is is strapped in here um, of course it works with different size tents. You get different sizes of these. Whoops. You, <laughs> you can get different sizes of these shelters. Um, I think there's three sizes for, for, for normal pole tents. There's a, a different size for inflatable um, tents. But yes, it simply connects on to the tent like so. So, you know, you could convert an extension into a massive outdoor seating um living and you know, really bring the outdoors in um you can see it's protecting the front of that tent quite significantly so it's so you can extend your sort of dry warm living area here with sort of kitchen um, leaving wet muddy shoes leaving bikes leaving toys um yeah so let's have a look at this tent actually while we're here um let's go through and have a look at this tent now <laughs> It does have a really neat feature at the back here. So at the back here, I'll try and do this one-handed. We open this up. Okay, let's just open up the back of this tent. I have to put the camera down a sec. Right, well, as you can see, I've completely unzipped the back of the tent. And you may think, why on earth have I done that? Well, you can see there is a door here. Um, so you can get some airflow through. And with all the hot weather we've had in 2022, hot, you know, being able to cool your tent down, we're creating a through draft. Undo this at the back here and let lots of air come through the front of the tent. That will really help cool things down. But another really good thing around this is if we go through to the bedrooms by undoing the back here, you can create a little window. So if I just unzip, unzip the window shade at the back, and unzip the other top of there, all of a sudden, You've now got a mesh at the back here. Um, roll this up, but you've now got a mesh at the back here. And again, you could have a private little room here in the back of the tent uh, with, a, with a view out the back. Okay, there's not much of a view today, but you might be positioned somewhere where you've got a glorious view. And you can sit in here, out of the wind, out of the rain if it is raining, but uh, you can certainly sit in here and, uh, and uh, view what's going on. Um, and of course with uh, a nice through breeze as well. Of course you can shut the front door here of the bedroom. Um, I don't know what you can see in the bedroom next door there. You can see that's got its window open. It's got a mesh in here. So you could have the door closed with the mesh open and the mesh open of axe. You've got a nice through breeze, but no bugs getting in. So I think that's a nice, nice neat um, addition to this tent. Gives a really nice sort of light inside.
So here's an extra little detail to look at when uh, looking at tents. And that's this here where the guy line attaches. Now, you might see this on plenty of tents, but one thing to look at is to see how this is attached. If it's just a bit of material sewn into the seam here, it potentially can be quite weak. But what, what we've got here on this outwell tent is the webbing where the guy line's attached actually goes all the way through the material and is stitched right into the tent there. So, and then that's all stitched inside the flap. So you, so you see this fabric flap, flap here, that is actually reinforced with webbing all the way through. Now, not all tents will necessarily do that, creating a potential weak point where fabric may tear. So it's just, if you're in a tent shop, having a look at some different tents and stuff, just, just look at a few little details like that. Again, uh, many brands do it, um, some don't, so just keep an eye out for that. And while we're talking of guy lines, here's one of the Outwell guy line uh, tidies here that um, GS Velcro up. Now you might think this is not such a great big deal, but believe me, it is so quick just to wrap these up when putting away your tent and Velcro them. And when you get a tent out, they're all there ready. It's a little thing like that that can <laughs> make things a lot easier. For tents that sometimes don't have anything like this, you often find when you get tents out, your guy lines may be tangled all over the place. Um, if you've ever had to tang untangle Christmas decorations and know what a nightmare that is, the last thing you want to do is when you get your tent out, you used to find that. So yeah, all right, you just wrap your, your guy lines up and put them in his Velcro, uh, makes them ready, ready to go next time. Also, one thing to remember when you're drying your tent out uh, to put away, make sure your guy lines are dry. You might have the fabric dry, but make sure these guy lines are dry because obviously if there's a bit of dampness in here and you pack your tent away, that dampness might cause a bit of mold. Um, so yeah, always make sure that everything is thoroughly dried before putting things away. And here's another, another tent with a guy line um, connection here. Now again, same sort of thing as we talked before, we had webbing that's going through this um, and that goes all the way through into, into the stitching of the tent here. We've got additional webbing here that's stitched through holding on to the steel pole and this velcros together here. Um, this is actually the Outwell wind stabiliser system and it basically helps bind the tent a little bit more strongly to the steel poles here and of course you pull that out there that's a really secure anchor anchors the, the fly sheet of the tent anchors the pole anchors the guy line and of course there's strong webbing going all the way through so there you go you're now becoming a bit of a an expert on uh, on what to look for for some of the guy lines should notice as well on this one we've got a gray guy line here that matches the the sort of colour of the tent. When you get down to the bottom here, um, with the lines that then go out, the trip <laughs> lines, if you like, where people trip over, they are still the luminous um, colour. So to avoid actually tripping over those as you walk past the tent. Right, well, it's glorious weather at this campsite. And uh, behind me here is the Outwell Jacksondale 7PA, a large family tent. PA means power air, so it's an inflatable tent. Um, as you see, it's all shut up at the moment, so I'm just gonna uh, open the front up so we can have a closer look inside. <laughs> well, I've half opened the front door. This front door will open all the way up and you can have the whole of the front open. And on weather like today, that'll be glorious to put some chairs down here and really soak up the sunshine. But yeah, I've just half opened it at the moment to show you what that looks like. As you see, even with half open, the size of this tent, you've got an ample, ample door going in here. And of course, there's nothing to trip over the tent. This front bit is kind of the wet dry zone. So it's, it's an area of the tent. You don't have to have a ground sheet down. It's a perfect place just to put chairs, 
put toys, put some bikes, and uh, kids coming back with wet muddy shoes, put the wet muddy shoes there and leave the inside of the tent nice and dry. So there you go, with, with half, the, half the, the, the front door open, we've actually got a really nice little sheltered spot in here. And um, we've got a similar tent size to this that uh, we've been camping, you might see in some of our videos. And we do use this as the, we tend to just half open the door. This makes a nice little sort of sheltered area. You've got the privacy, you've got the privacy uh, windows here. I was going to say privacy glass, but of course it isn't glass on a tent. But you've got the privacy windows here and you've also got a blind to roll these up blinds all the way around um, you've got the power point as well so you can actually run power from inside the tent into here um, so you can actually string up some lights in here it's got the outwell hook track system that goes around here so you can see that that rail there so you can get things click on there and suspend light so it makes another nice little sitting zone uh, out here of course one of the things you've got in the porch here is storage pockets another little feature again it's something we found as family camping that is really useful just to be able to store a few bits and pieces at this part of the tent too um, the way they've got tent uh, configured at the moment is you've got these doors open they have got a blind we'll see that on the inside but as you can see huge huge bug mesh on the front here hopefully you can see that on the camera there um, you know, hard to see maybe on the camera um, but yes huge huge bug mesh on the front here so plenty of airflow in and out the tent and stop condensation and quick and quiet doors of course to make it come in and out now at the moment this tent has all been sealed up ready for us so none of this is unzipped so um, just let me unzip this and we can have a look inside so what I've just done is I've just unzipped the bottom of the door this side. I've not unzipped the door on that side. Again, we've got a similar tent to this and um, this is the layout uh, we have. We tend to unzip one side of the doors, typically this side, um, and then have this unzip too. But with the quick and twirl doors, it means that we can come and go in and out of the tent really easily. And because these are weighted, they'll automatically close the door to help keep the bugs out. <laughs> So inside the tent, and what can we say? It's uh, a massive tent. It is a seven person tent. So you've got massive amount of space. This is the ideal tent if you've got a large family, um, but specifically if you've got a large family and you go in away for a, a family camping holiday. So you're away a, a number of nights, being a number of nights, you want a, you want a larger tent so you can spend, spread out a little bit, got more storage space to, uh, to take things with you. But yes, this is a huge tent. You can easily hunker down here as a family if you wanted to in the night or in the rain. There's loads of space. We tend to put uh, kitchen prep stuff in, in here. Um, we've got an electric uh, hob, for example, you can cook on that. Normally, if you're cooking with gas and stuff, you do that outside the tent. So yeah, uh, all blinds on all the windows that can toggle up half the way. Um, so for a bit of privacy, we, that's we tend to do in the morning, have them half toggled up first thing in the morning get a bit of light in but it's a little bit of privacy and again this one on the the main room here has got a quick and quiet door into the bedroom darkened bedrooms in here um, so as you can see it's a little bit dark it's got a big open at the back you can open and a big vent at the back of the tent as well so you can get some air through and some light in the day we tend to roll up the a little blind at the back of the tent get some light in here and got mesh on the front doors of this tent too so you can unzip on the inside you can roll that blind down let some light and some air flow through the tent on here you've got two side doors um, again you can have them open with bug mesh closed as well so you can have air flow all the way through this way and all the way through that way now if you think that's a lot of air flowing around you don't you want to be a little bit more protected from the elements obviously you can control how much air coming through but when it gets warm um, in a tent it can get very warm so you want plenty of airflow through so you can open up these massive side doors uh, and just have the mesh in place then plenty of air through and again we've camped in a similar tent in 2022 um, in some really warm weather and again being able to open up these uh, side doors are fantastic a um, little bit of a porch on the side door here um, as well as being able to run cables power cables into the tent in and out here as well uh, through those if you need to um, bedrooms well as you can see we've got a very large bedroom in the middle here 
we've got a smaller bedroom off to the side and another smaller room off here. So it's a seven person, you see two, two and, th and three in the middle. Um, although I'd say probably mum and dad in there with the bags um, and kids either side, um, depending on how you set up. Um, or if you want, you can undo the dividers between these rooms and have one massive family room. Again, it's something we've done before. It works just as well. So yeah, really good tent. Let's have a quick look at a few other features in it. So here's the side door I mentioned, which has got the porch on it. Um, it's got a fiberglass pole here you just slot in, but otherwise everything else is inflatable. And you can see here we've got a bottom vent in the tent, which is just held open with this Velcro flap in here. And again, there's bug mesh inside. So you can get the camera in there for you to see. Um, but there's bug mesh in there, so the bugs coming in. And, and here as well, we've got a little zip inside here. Let me open and close it so you can put a power cable through if you're on an electric hookup. Um, inflatable again, you've got the valves here, pump in, let the air out. Um, and round the back here, you can see all the guy lines uh, here coming through um, round here. And we got the big grey sort of big storm straps at the back. Now, one thing I did mention about the big flap at the back here is where you've got the big vent. And if we just find where the zips are on here today, there we go. And we can unzip those. So this is the other side of the bedroom um, we just opened up. And you can open this flap up. You see there's still bug mesh in there. You probably can't see in there. You may be able to see through there. That's the bedroom. And the flaps that we just opened, the sort of flaps, the blinds we opened up in the bedroom there. So you can see you can see those um, through there. And again, that lets a lot of airflow through. Of course, airflow is not just for the daytime. You want airflow through at night because, you know, us humans, we breathe out air, which has actually dampness in it and uh, can cause condensation inside your tent if you don't have sufficient airflow. Um, so sometimes when you feel a bit of dampness inside your tent, you think, oh no, it's leaking. It's probably just actually condensation. Um, from your breath. So you want to make sure your tent's not completely sealed up and there's air coming through. And if you're worried about, oh, I'll be cold if there's air coming through, well, there's ways to do that. <laughs> Obviously, number one, wear appropriate clothing and stuff like that, but there's heaters and things like that. Important thing is you've got lots of fresh air coming through. So there we go. There's the Outwell Jacksondale 7PA, a massive, family can tent uh, ideal for family camping holidays
another new innovation this year from Outwell are these new outlier guy tensioners. Now, okay, these can be really difficult to do, perhaps one hand. No, there we go. So you just push it round and it loosens, and then you just can just put it up and it holds the lining in, in place. So it's a little bit better than the old plucky um, that you get on mini tents. Um, so that's nice and loose, and then just push it up and it's nice and tight. Um, for those like like the engineering how gadgets work, it's a very simple little friction design there, just locks it in place. Um, and if you lose any of these, you can get these as extras or uh, accessories. And even if you want to upgrade your old tent to use these, you can buy these separately. Um, but yeah, another nice little, another nice little feature for 2023.
Right, here we are in the Robins showroom. Um, yeah, I really like the Robins tents. They are sort of catered for adventure, but they've got a lot of practicality in it and they don't forget the uh, family market. Um, we spent some time with the uh, product designer for, for Robins today. He has a family, he has young kids. He's done a lot of adventuring himself all sorts of things from sort of minus horrible temperatures in, in Norway, um, all sorts of things around, around around the world. But he has children. So you'll find there's a lot of um, family tents in the Robins range that are also geared um, for adventure. Now, of course, Robins this year is celebrating 50 years. So um, yeah, so well done, Robins. There's a lot of nice things again added to the range this year. So. I'll stop talking and let's have a closer look. So if you like the idea of the Robins Klondike and you like the idea of the Robins Klondike Grand, the really bigger version, which is ideal for family camping if you like a sort of glamping retro feel, but the poly contents are a little bit expensive. If you want something smaller, lighter, cheaper, maybe smaller pack size. Well, this year you can now get the Robins Klondike Grand in poly cotton. It's called the Robins Klondike PRS, or Robins Klondike Grand PRS, I should say, for the large one. And uh, here it is. So let's have a closer look. So inside the tent, um, it's pretty much the same as the um, Polycotton Robins Klondike PRS. Uh, so we're inside the tent and yeah, it's a Robins Klondike Grand, if I can say it, a Robins Klondike Grand, but instead of Polycotton, this is the polyester one. So this is the Robins Klondike Grand PRS. Now, so it's the same, same layout. Um, got a center pole in here so easy pitching and a simple a-frame by the door um, the pole here is a little bit less chunky than it needs to be for the poly cotton one so you have a, a slightly smaller pole um, but yeah otherwise dimensions are the same you've got a stove flue port in the roof you can undo the the, the, the um, ground sheet here too and it also takes the um, uh, Klondike inners as well Klondike grand inners so you can have two regular inner tents or the, the double inner tents here or a mesh inner tent here carpets everything all the accessories are completely the same whether you're going for the poly cotton one or this prs version and talking of accessories um, new for this year there is a new extension uh, porch that you can put on the front of pretty much any of these sort of tp style tents from robons whether you are doing it with a poly cotton tent or uh, one of the PRS range, um, the PRS extension will fit on either. So that's another bonus. If you've already got a tent like this and you just want a little bit more space at the entrance, I know it's a question we've been asked before is how can you put an extension on the front, and especially for that wet dry zone for some of these tents. Well, now there's something that can solve that. But yeah, otherwise it's everything you'd expect um, from one of these tents. You've got the ventilation at the top, which you can control with the cord. You've got the ventilation um, panels around the side and you've got the lovely front door too. So yeah, it's looking good. Oh, lovely sunny weather. So uh, let's have a look at another new tent for 2023. And this is the Robins Klondike Twin. Uh, yeah, twin, it's actually, it's like you've got two Robins Klondike tents and actually put them together to make a twin. It's a really roomy tent inside. So <clears throat> if you wanted that more glamping feel in some of the uh, things like um, Klondike tent, of course you've got the pole in the middle. Um, that minimizes some of the uh, options you've got for layout. But inside here, it's a massive space. Let's have a closer look. So we're inside here in the massive Robins Klondike Twin. It is huge. Look, I can't even touch the ceiling here. It is a massive cavernous space. So it's got all of the th things of the very popular Robins Poly Cotton Klondike tent, except it's a twin. There's double of it. So you've got the easy pitching with a single pole um, that you've got a Robins tent, but you do it twice. You've got a pole here and you've got a pole over here. And between you've got this huge space 
The only other pole you've got is a very simple A-frame that goes around the door, so there's minimum poles to go in this tent. Of course, it's got a lot of the other features of the Klondike. You can have a stove in here. There's a stove flue pipe port in the top with the uh, heat proof fab fabric on. And so you could have a nice warm robin stove, wood burning stove cooking away in your tent for uh, out of season camping. In terms of inner tents, you can fit the robins inner tents into the tent. Um, the same inner tents as the normal Klondike can fit in, but you can fit two of them. You fit one at one end and one at the other end. So you could have two big inner tents at either end of the tent and still have a massive living space in the middle. Or you could go full glamping and have a, a big double bed in the middle of the tent if you want. On the floor, and the ground sheet can be unzipped. So this area can be the wet and dry zone in front of the porch. So if you're coming in with wet, wet muddy boots, you can just kick them off here. You're not gonna get the rest of the tent muddy. And then you can get into the clean, dry part of the tent. You can also unzip the ground sheet all the way around so uh, where your stove sits, you don't have to worry about the heat uh, impacting the uh, ground sheet of your tent. Um, but of course you can get heat proof uh, uh, mats for putting your stove on, which we tend to use, which is another way of protecting your tent. So yes, uh, ventilation wise, very similar to the Klondike, except you've got two of things. So you've got the pull calls to open the vents at the top and there's really good ventilation around the bottom. So plenty of options for getting airflow in the tent. You've got a big vent up there and a big vent up there and vents around the bottom. So from what I've seen so far, this looks really impressive if you want a really large poly cotton tent. Um, that's a lot easier to pitch than maybe some other large poly cotton tents. And here we have the Robins Klondike Twin pitched at the campsite, just like that, eh? Um, yeah, as you can see, it, it looks stunning, doesn't it? It looks a real feature tent um, and plenty of space inside. And you put it in a setting like this with a, with a lake there, it's perfect. The only thing I would have done differently with this is perhaps pitched it so the doors are facing the lake. Then as the sun goes down, it gets cooler. You can sit there with the doors open, have a nice drink of something uh, and watch the lake. Of course, if it does get cool, you can have a wood burning stove in this tent too. So you can stay nice and toasty brilliant stuff so yeah it's a uh, poly cotton so it will feel like canvas it i mean it looks like a big old canvas tent doesn't it it looks very traditional but it's actually made with some really high-tech components um so yeah thumbs up from us here's the um new robins yurt new for 2023 um and as you can see it looks pretty spectacular here on the campsite I don't know what you think, maybe leave your comments um, um, down below, but it kind of mixes old world and new. It, it's got that sort of yurty sort of feel with its its sort of structure, but it looks very high tech and modern with these, with these large panoramic windows, doesn't it? Um, so let's just open this thing up. Um, it's got a lovely big door on the front. And again, it's got a big mesh here as well. So you can actually just open the blind, roll that up and you've got a nice mesh vent there, so you can just let the air flow through. Let's just open up the door fully. Um, here we go. There we are, and I can undo do this. And I can undo it this side, and now... All home zip that, there we go. Right, how we can see there. Now the entrance completely lies flat, so no trip hazard. Um, and of course the door rolls away. Nicely. Give that up. Got a little toggle fastener in here to keep it nice and tidy. Just do this one quickly. Right, well there we go. Um, a massive space. Let me come and get you so you can have a better look. Right, here we go. Here you are. Um, slightly nice scene at the campsite, isn't it? You can get a real, real sense of uh, what things are like with those big windows. Um, and, and these are the uh, pole length adjustment that I mentioned earlier. You can see that went down and you pull that up and push it in place. I'm not going to attempt that one-handed. Um, vents at the back there. 
big uh, wall at the back with no vents obviously that might be a sleeping area you can imagine you can use this with like different beds in different places you could also if you really want to glamp with a big bed in the middle there um, of course here we've got the stove port flap here so here you can have a nice wood burning stove you can undo the ground sheet there if you want on that stove area you can also unzip this bit of the ground sheet here and roll that back so this bit here will be a wet dry zone outside for muddy boots yeah the only thing I think I differently pitch around this is actually I probably pitch it so that the doors and the windows were facing the lake and the view um, we can get a full 360 view as much as I can as we go around here past the tree um, you can just see the top there that's the black material it's velcroed down at the moment but that's the uh, that's where the uh, flue would come out for your wood burning stove as you can see all the way around here we've got the other vent open at the bottom there and the other big window there are massive windows but in plenty of light you just need somewhere really gorgeous to pitch it don't you and there we go that's the uh, Robin's yurt this is the easy camp showroom um, upstairs here at the Aways Outdoors headquarters and uh, yes yeah, so Easy Camp's not being forgotten in 2023. There's a lot of really good new stuff. Um, they have some excellent family tents, the Palmdale over there. And uh, well, I'll take you and have a look at some of those tents. They've also got some new adventure range, including one that makes it much more easier for bike packing. Something I know from myself and family are interested in. The glamping range has also taken off. And one thing that they've introduced this year are these carpets as well for glamping. Now, these are the sort of carpets, if you've, if you've ever been um, caravanning, for example, you've got a caravanning awning, you'll see it's this, uh, this weave that you can put down, it protects the ground underneath, but it provides you a carpet underfoot. And also if it gets wet, water drains through, they're really practical. And I've often wondered, why don't we see more of those in tents? Well, this year, um, Easy Camp have brought out a range of sort of glamping style looking carpets, but they're of this material and I can see it being useful for so many tents, not just Easy Camp tents, any tents. Um, in fact, if you've got a, a, an expensive outdoor tent or a Roman's tent, these carpets would look uh, perfect in there. And especially in the porch area where you may be coming and going with wet feet. So yeah, lots of really good stuff again this year. Uh, Easy Camp, um, really good for families and family camping. So <laughs> I'll stop talking now. Let's have a closer look.
Right, well, there's one of the new um, Go Range tents, the compact, the Vega 300 compact. Remember, you can have attached to your bike or backpack as well. You see with the doors open here. So it's ideal little backpacking tent. Um, not going to break the bank. You've got a little shelter at the front here. Ideal for maybe storing your boots there. And let's come inside here. So inside here, um, you've got this drying rail for drying things, but also just hanging your uh, hanging torches from. In fact, there's a little there's a little adapter, little mesh adapter you can get to hang your bike light um, from here and use that as a as a light as well. Um, little storage pocket down the side there. You obviously got the ground sheet sewn in here. Another storage pocket that side, and then what about this side? Let's see. <laughs> around here Let's put that to one side you've got the other side of the tent here now the idea here is you've now got another look there for storage so if you're in here with boots and other mucky bits and pieces you want to keep the rain out of you can use that side of the tent as a nice bit of storage with a bit of ventilation coming through so I just back out a little bit so you can have a look as you can see not bad for a little compact tent that you can easily throw into a backpack or take on your bike. Again, comes with all those straps in the bag, so you can easily just stow it on your, your bike, go camping. Maybe you're just going to take a kid, one of your children, or um, maybe it's just a few of you going camping. But there we go. And if you wanted to here, I don't really notice here, you've got another zip on this side here. So you can just open this bit up and use this as another another door to the other side. You can have it partly open, all the way open. So you can see I'm doing it one-handed. Um, as you can see, we've got the other door here, open here. And uh, you've now got access from the other side of the tent. Yeah, with storage area here. So you can get in both sides if you wanted to. And uh, maybe get on your bike and pedal down to a wonderful campsite like this. So this is the easy camp, um, easy glamping, I should say, the easy glamping uh, moonlight bell tent um, here at the campsite. Um, as you can see, it's set up there. It looks like a, a real pucker glamping tent. Um, let's have a, a closer look inside. And here we are inside the tent. Um, very sort of simple um, pitching. You've got a single pole that goes up the middle there and you can clip to extend this which is very similar to actually a feature a new feature we saw in a Roman tent so so not bad there and um similarly with an a-frame around the porch a good size in here um you've got some vents over there some storage pockets some more vents and some storage pockets but yeah you can imagine pitching yourself here at the campsite opening up the big doors like this to take in a view. Fantastic, eh? And here's one of those, one of those little carpets in action. Little round carpet, again, it's not meant to cover the entire floor. It just adds a bit of character. Um, and we've just got this in the glamping teepee tent, so you can imagine if you put your beds down the side and some furniture, um, just makes it nice. Now, these carpets I mentioned, they've got that weave on. They're very similar to um, if you've got a caravan awning carpet like this. So you can put this on the ground uh, outside and it's not going to ruin the grass. Um, air obviously can flow through and so can moisture if things get wet as well. It dries out fairly quickly. Um, so yeah, really useful addition for tents. Um, just add that little bit of character, that little bit of homely touch um, to things and uh, 
just starting to get a little bit blowier on the campsite now. See the Viking ship blowing around. A um, bit of a wind's got up. See, he's not really bothering the tent, even though the doors are, are wide open into the winds there. Um, there's a bit of a strong breeze coming across the lake, straight into the tent, and it's fine. It's fine. Nice little, uh, nice little teepee for, you know, makes, can make camping uh, fun, make it a little bit different. Um, and again, you can get bunting to go with this. You've got waterproof outdoor lighting, which you can have like in a warm white or multicolored. And, and if you want to go to town or all that, all those accessories work on here. So yeah, thumbs up.